comforted said that people come into our lives for a reason, bringing something we must learn, and we all led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return. I became more of a purposeful person and a catalyst for change because of MVP. Purposeful because he has taught me how to see things through the eyes of God and not through the eyes of people. And a catalyst for change because he has always encouraged everyone to think of innovative ways of doing things. Parati siyang ahead of others. I remember in the year 2000, he was already talking about convergence and digitalization. Nasa DNA niya talaga ang thought leadership at saka innovation. Uh, he also likes big challenges and that is why we may miss sometimes, but when we do it right, we win and we win big. I remember one time he challenged us. He said, Makati Medical Center Foundation is the only foundation he knows wherein we can do so much with so little. And that continued to inspire me and serve as my inspiration to go along even despite uh, limited resources. This is the reason why he always challenges us in Meralco to stretch ourselves and implement our social responsibility initiatives in the farthest, remotest island and mountain communities in the Philippines because our people deserve more and our people deserve more opportunities, better opportunities and a better life. All of this will be his legacies to the Filipino people. Whether it's through uh, providing us with clean and potable water, reliable electricity, connecting us through PLDT and or SMART, or through our toll roads, um, and, and more recently, expanding the healthcare system, which is very important now because of the pandemic. A stream that meets a boulder halfway through the world. Who can say if I can change for the better? But because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Uh, during the pandemic. He called, uh, he called me just to check on myself and, uh, and the employees. That's given us courage to fight, to continue to fight, and uh, keep the company uh, going despite all of the uncertainty. He also told me once that he truly cared for all of us, his employees, regardless of our status or positions. But uh, I always remember what he said before, that a man's reach should exceed his grasp and it will make you strive harder, work harder, be more diligent. And it turns out that we can actually accomplish what he sets out for us to do. As followers, we do not hesitate to follow him because we know at heart he has the best interest of the nation. Whenever a task is assigned to you or you are presenting a concept or project to him, Better make sure that you've studied all angles, you understand all details, and you are ready to answer tough questions. He has taught us the value of hard work. He has taught us that everything eventually will result into good things if you put in the hard work. I believe those are two things that he values most, his relationship with the Lord and the people that he worked with. In one of the light conversations with him, I learned that he says the rosary nightly, without fail, regardless of how he feels, physically and emotionally that night. And I think that is what makes him truly down-to-earth and a compassionate person. It will maybe that we will never meet again in this lifetime. So let me say before we part so much of is made of what I learned from you. You'll be with me like 
a handprint on my heart And now whatever way our stories end I know you have rewritten mine by being my friend Like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind of the sea like a seed dropped by a sky bird in a distant world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for you. He's a little older than me. Despite that fact, kasama ko siya makatrabaho for close to 30 years. I consider him already as a second father. Uh, he always tells us that if we're not going to reach out to the farthest and to the remotest, who else will help him? If we have the capacity, the resources, and the muscle to do so, we should go. I've always said that it's my good fortune to have stumbled into this team that Manny created. I was so nervous, and every time it was my turn to make the report, Manny would stand up and excuse himself to leave the room. So for many, many years, I thought the reason he did that was he was, he was uh, embarrassed that somebody so uh, insecure and so lacking in confidence would be making a mistake in, in the report, quite recently. He told me the real reason he stood up, and that was because he wanted me to become comfortable so that I could make a good report. So I'll never forget what Manny did for me to help me out, and I would like to thank you, Manny, for making it to 75 and letting me spend one third of your time in this planet as a member of your team. Happy birthday, boss. I have been As it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder, halfway through the world, who can say if I've been changed for the better? I do believe I have been changed for the better. Because I knew you Because I knew you Because I knew you I have been changed for good